It's Tuesday and time for another episode of Black Clover. Today we're going to be watching episode 33. Last week, Sally has created a goddamn mud monster that Asta and the old sister now have to fight. Ghost ran away with his sister, but I feel like Mari's going to make him go back because she doesn't want all the little kids to get hurt. And there's also a chance that more Black Bulls will show up because Seke went and got back up. Even though Yami said, I don't know if they could help, he's probably going to go for backup anyways, and I'm looking forward to it. So let's jump into my reaction and then discussion for episode 33 of Black Clover. Time to go after the mud monster. Yeah, look, she's thinking. First of all, we got to get the kids out of here. Oh, shit. She's making a fire leopard cheetah. And she's the kid's going to take the kids out of there. That's cool. Baro, what's wrong? Well, Baro's been turned into a mud monster. Who's going to kill you? Austin's gonna come in for the save. Yeah, he is. That seemed a little too easy. Austin, you're not dying until you take responsibility for the shit you just did. Wait, they're brothers? Wait, did I miss that? Did I miss that the last couple episodes? Takes away the life force and produces power. So that means Baro is going to die and is producing all this strong magical power and explosions that's going on soon. Hmm? <laughs> Damn! Look at that move! The older you get, the magic you can generate. Ooh, okay. Ah. So as you get older, you have less magical power, but that doesn't get away from the skill of knowing how to use it. Curse that ghost. How could he run off like that because he wanted to save his sister? Ah, uh, yeah, Mari's gonna tell him to go back. Ooh, more backstory time. Ah, he was in a noble family before all this. I just went straight to, yeah, mother and father are dead. They were attacked by some robbers leaving my office. Oh, this dude murdered their parents. Oh my god. They came from a dark past where their family was murdered and then they got all their wealth stolen from them. The reason he has such a weird sister complex is because of the fact that his parents got killed, she's the only family he has left, and he was determined to protect her at all costs. So this traumatic experience is what locked on that fixation. And that's how he got thrown in jail from robbing people. Okay, so he went to prison for being a robber and stealing stuff from people. I wonder if he killed anyone or if he was just like mugging them. I hate having a big brother who's so pathetic. Oh my god, she is a savage. Aww. You better mean that, you stupid little brat. Oh my god. I knew that Mario was going to be the one to talk some sense into him. It's literally the only person that could do it. It has to be his sister because he doesn't listen to anyone else. Now he goes in to join the fights because he has to make his sister proud. Has to this Asta that. Nope, never mind. He just wants to outshine Asta. Uh. The reason he's like this is because of the trauma he experienced as a child. His mother and dad were taken away from him at a young age, which made him try to do everything to protect his sister because no one actually helped them at all. They just got thrown onto the street and had to fend for themselves. So that's why he does, thinks that everyone just takes care of themselves and doesn't help the people around him. Asta's gonna be a big change for that because of that. Even though he has such a freaking weird sister complex, there's a reason to his trauma. Just like how he's gonna be shocked that Asta and the sister are still fighting for the kids because he would think they would have just ran away. 
Is he actually that stupid? Ghost realizing that Ost is here to protect people. I'm not going to die until I become Wizard King. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I love it. You said you were going to die and you just almost did. Nice one. <laughs> so she'll say I'm cool. Look, his motivation is his sister. I mean, like, I guess it could be a good thing. His sister's there to make sure he fights. Ooh. 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 Trump card? So saying his magic is incompatible with Yami, so I'm very curious to see what Yami's power is if it was incompatible. Oh, and now he's gonna die, but Asta's gonna save him. And he's gonna be shocked that Asta saved him. I protect you, you protect me. Yeah, look, Asta no, learning how to use teamwork. He's had to fight with Magna, Luck, Noel. You know, it's time for him to fight with Ghost now. This guy's generally an idiot. Oh. Someday that'll help somebody out. Ooh, interesting. You know, it's looking like maybe Yami picked Asta because he's a little like him. Interesting. <laughs> We're teammates, you're supposed to do it. Ooh, ah, he's gonna be able to use Gosha's magic. Oh, finally, I've been waiting for this sword to pick up someone else's magic since we had uh, him use the water from Noel. There we go. He's now able to use magic once again because of that sword. Well, it didn't even work. Okay, never mind. So they're fighting a mud monster that keeps regenerating. It's gonna get to that point where it's kind of hard to fight it. Ooh, magic to support someone else. Acknowledgement of Asta. Okay. He was able to create a spell that fundamentally similar yet completely different. Hey, he's upgrading. He actually asked for please. I feel like Ghost's spell is going to be him making a reflection of Asta to fight and then it's going to be double the anti-magic. What's he been hiding? Does he have a different eye? Oh, he does! He does! Oh, he's a mirror magic item in his eye. Mirror Oh, look, he can make a bunch of Astas. He got a new spell. That's, that's, that's cool. Okay, and now... Holy shit, they all can use the same sword and launch the magic attack at them. He's slicing so fast that it can't have a chance for it to regenerate, and it's just splitting in before it can do that. Ooh, Sally just got slapped into the ground there. Maybe they don't need that backup after all. And now Baro is dead. I kind of figured he wasn't going to make it out of that one. Aw, poor little kid Neji. When you're done with that, let's be buddies. You can- <laughs> Oh my god. I like how Oz is like, you know what, if, you t if, if you're going to take responsibility for all the shit you guys did. What the hell? It's that bastard. It's the master. It's that son of a bitch. Oh my god. Oh my god, they're all about to get genuinely hurt. Oh my god, the sister's gonna die saving Asta! Holy shit, what the hell? 
hell? It went from like, yeah, they won a fight to all of them getting erected by the master in an instance. They, they definitely do need that backup. I take that back. They got what they deserved. The leader of the Eye of the Midnight Sun. Lich. Is that how you pronounce it? I think it's for Lich. Yeah, Lich. He is a four-leaf clover. <gasps> Does that mean you know the one that has to beat him? Holy shit. That went from a really shocking moment to like, what the hell is going on? So if you like that reaction, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button to stay up to date with all my Black Clover reactions and all my other anime ones as well. And with that, let's jump into my discussion for episode 33 of Black Clover. This episode had a lot of great moments when it came to the characters. Like, so good. Even though Ghost is a weird character with his weird sister-loving complex, it really makes sense why Ghost is the way he is. Is he went through an ex traumatic experience as a kid where his parents were murdered by definitely the guy they went to go see and then the guy stole everything from them threw the kids on the street left them with nothing and all they had were each other and ghost's whole ideology he adapted after that is that i'm never gonna let anything happen to mari it's mari comes before anything else and that's why he is the way he is and why he didn't trust anyone because no one was ever there to help him even after meeting yami who took him in and knew his magic could be strong and he wanted him to be part of the squad but it only took Asta to make him realize that not everyone's out for themselves there are people who are willing to fight for everyone and protect others at all costs even if that means they're gonna die and I think that's really what hit home with them because Asta was still fighting to save these kids instead of running away in fear and he said that he would die before letting them touch the kids once again like Asta it's so determined and this determination is affecting another person that's why Ghost was willing to help him to be fair it did take Mari to make him go do that but it is the best way to get ghost to go do anything is you just get Mari to tell him hey you want to not be a dick i'll think you're way cooler if you go help these people and i find it really interesting that he learned a new move during that which was making a barrage of freaking ostas to go fight that was cool and i think that's probably one of the cooler moments from the episode and i just love what it did because it, it gave him character development it made him not such a shitty person and gave him somewhere to go i also really like what Austin did in this episode especially with neji because neji lost the person he cared about borrow was turned into a monster and he realized he has to take responsibility for everything that happened just like Austin said and i love the fact that also is like yeah once you take responsibility for it we can be friends and i think that was a more of awesome being like you were you know this guy just wanted to have friends that's all he wanted he wasn't like bar who wanted to drain all the kids of the magic he just wanted friends and he was pretty much being used and manipulated by the one person he trusted and cared about also saw good in him and wanted to help him like i love that he's like you know you get better we can be friends like you just got to take responsibility for your actions and then he got killed by freaking lich and i'm assuming that's how you pronounce it that leader of the midnight sun is uh, OP. He put two light daggers into Ghost. He killed Neje right in front of Asta and then killed the sister right in front of Asta while she protected him from getting uh, swarmed by a bunch of attacks. Where literally last episode, I was like, I feel like she's going to die and she died. That's a, such a shocking moment. And hopefully, the other Black Bulls do come in for backup because it's going to be an all out war coming soon. Really like that episode, and especially what it did for the characters. Let me know what did you think of Ghost during this episode because for the last few, I wasn't a big fan, but I'm curious to see see what you guys think of them. Also, let me know what you thought of Asta's moment with Neji there. And with that, again, awesome episode. I can't wait to see what happens next because now there's going to be a big attack coming. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Black Clover, and I'll see you next week when we watch episode 34.